Hello again, my name is Cameron, and in this video I will be describing my sexuality. Uh, I'm actually at a point where I'm having trouble describing my sexuality. Uh, I've always, well, since I came to accept my sexuality, or my attraction to both men and women, in uh, eighth grade, I've always described myself to people as bisexual, but uh, lately, you know, I find that there are more words out there. Uh, there is a lot of words. I'm actually surprised at the list that has been composed on this Tumblr page, the Sexual Fluidi Fluidity Project. Uh, there are a lot of words on the website that I've never seen in my life. Um, one word that I've been paying close attention to um, is pansexual. I, I find myself attracted to males and females, bio-male, bio-female, um, and uh, trans men. I haven't, I'm not really sure, uh, but I haven't so far found myself attracted to trans women, and I don't really know anyone who's, who identifies as genderqueer. Um, I may, I may have met a couple, um, but if they are, you know, outside of the spectrum of trans and bio, I don't know about it. As, as of now, the only people I've found myself attracted to are trans men, bio men, and bio females. Bisexual, I guess, uh, could cover that, but I'm not really sure, because the definition varies between people. The most, most of the definitions I've seen don't make any references to biological sex, specifically. And uh, pansexual doesn't cover my sexuality. It's actually, it's too much, you know, because pansexual would suggest that I have the potential to be attracted to anyone regardless of gender or sexuality. And uh, I find that it's possibly not true because so far I haven't, you know, I don't, like I said, I don't find myself attracted to trans women. It's just, I just don't. It's not a big deal to me. You know, I know, I know what I like, I know who I like, and that's what matters most. 